Welcome to the Florida Coastal Prep virtual tour. Let's take a look at everything here. I'm your host. My name is Lee DeForest. I'm the director and head coach of the basketball program here at the Postgrad. We're pulling in here to the El Matador. This is where our players live during the program. I believe that we have uh, some of the finest living facilities in any postgrad program, and I would, including IMG. I mean, we live on the beach. Gives our guys a little bit of an advantage, uh, you know, during some downtime, uh, typically during the schedule. Uh, we go to work really early, uh, do our work in the morning, have breakfast, uh, have a shooting workout, lunch, team practice afternoon. And then in the evenings, uh, we typically let our guys relax a little bit, get some downtime. You're going to see here, there's a, one of the two swimming pools outside. This is a meeting area here. This is the auxiliary building uh, that players have access to. Uh, there's a weight room here. Uh, this is one of the three weight rooms in the program. But guys can go in there and get a little extra work in. Uh, on the weekends or on an off day, uh, they can go in and get some stuff done if they need to also have a spa and sauna that players have access to you can see that the hours of it but it's another place where it's good for recovery uh, when you're working really hard have games practices uh, it's good for you know to come in and sweat a little bit uh, get in the hot tub relax there's also a uh, sauna we'll take a look at next but uh, this is one of the many facilities that we looked at. We looked at multiple different properties, but ultimately settled on this one. A combination of amenities with, uh, as you saw when we pulled in, uh, it's a gated community. Uh, there's, a, uh, there's a fence that goes around the property. Uh, there's also uh, two gate guards that typically get around on golf carts. So guys feel pretty safe. You know, it's one of the important things for us. We uh, looked at probably 25 different areas. You know, ultimately the board decided that the best opportunity for uh, safety as well as uh, just the, the best that uh, we could offer would be uh, the El Matador. So we're really proud of it. Uh, we'll get a better look at the pool here. Uh, I think uh, just one of the two heated pools that uh, our players have access to a good look at that it's kind of wild uh, typically there's people here but uh, you know due to the virus restrictions uh, it's kind of limited right now but again take a look here uh, this is that's the same pool this is building five that's where uh, the lobby area uh, that's where the uh, chefs deliver the food to our players uh, not a lot of places actually do food delivery uh, for their postgrad players when we deliver it uh, you can get a look here of the uh, beach condo uh, these are this unit is typical every unit has you know obviously the sink and uh, has the uh, oven stove there uh, every unit has furniture it's completely furnished uh, table uh, chairs and uh, you can see this one uh, our guys do a good job. Uh, we have room checks pretty often, uh, especially early. Uh, we have to establish a good routine of taking care of the property as well as cleaning. Uh, some of the kids are better than others, but uh, everyone learns by the end of the program. And every room has a TV. There's a outside area there with chairs and place to sit. And you can't see it, but outside that window is uh, there's a tennis courts and there's an outdoor basketball court as well uh, this room here's the master it has a king-size bed but uh, players uh, we typically move that king-size bed out and uh, we'll move two beds in there so uh, you know don't get too excited and try to request only the king bed because uh, <laughs> we move that out typically so you just get a good look here. Sorry about the blur and things like that. Uh, but we're going to take a look at this room. We'll take a look at another room. I just want to give you guys an idea of the typical room. Um, last year, we didn't have access to these rooms to even show them. So the only thing we had last year to operate on were the pictures that you've seen on the website. 
And hopefully you've been there already, floridacoastalprep.com, and uh, had a chance to apply. Uh, I can tell you that reservations are filling up, and uh, despite you know the things that are going on in the country, uh, we have people uh, moving forward because when we start the program uh, in September, uh, I mean, the majority of the models show that uh, it should be resumed. You can see this, um, like I said, just a really nice room, really nice condo. These condos rent for, um, they typically rent a couple thousand, three to four thousand a week uh, during the uh, during the March and uh, during the summer period. Uh, typically spring breakers, uh, a lot of different people like to come, but again, it's uh, you can see it's just a really nice, really nice setup. Um, you have to bring your own linens for the bed, and all the beds are doubles. Um, and you can see there's a table, and there's my beautiful wife doing a great job on the, on the camera. But uh, you can see here the floor, the area. Uh, typically, when we come in after about a week, the guys have the PlayStation hooked up typically, or they're watching college basketball, the NBA. And typically, there's guys hanging out couple arguments going on guys on their cell phones um, it's just a typical it's it's a typical college environment uh, typical basketball players uh, being competitive at you know everything that they play uh, I didn't know much about it but I learned quite a bit about uh, Fortnite and 2k uh, typically I guess that players only have one of those apparently they play a lot they don't there's not a lot of guys that cross over and try to be good at both of those but here again the king bed um, don't email me about trying to get the king bed by yourself, uh, but uh, we'll have that out, and uh, there'll be another uh, two beds in there. Uh, but you can see the, you know, it's a bathroom, <laughs> and uh, you can just see how nice, like I said, carpet. Um, every room has its own, you know, you free Wi-Fi, free cable setup. Like I said, we're really proud, you know, the city came together to really open its arm to our program, really believe in what we're trying to do, and, uh, you know, took care of us here. But you can see this all is part of uh, the El Matador facility. Everything that you're seeing here is part of it. There's a fence that runs around the outside. Um, we're going to go over here for now and take a look at uh, the second swimming pool and get a look at the beach. but. Again, I appreciate you, um, you know, taking time to listen. This is uh, something new. I've never done this before, so uh, doing the best job we can. But But here you go, you can see uh, the second pool area and behind it is the ocean. And if you look to the right, uh, our chefs will sometimes grill and they do a great job. They'll grill hot dogs, cheeseburgers, chicken, uh, pretty much anything, do a great job. Uh, we eat out here sometimes, uh, you know, weather permitting and it's almost always weather permitting. but. The pool there is just like the other one. Uh, there were a couple people there, so uh, we spared you there. You know, guys will have access to this. One of the best features of the El Matador is obviously the beach access. Right, live right on the beach. We're at the end of the island, so we kind of have our own spot, our own area, and. Uh, it feels great and typically there's a lot of different people down here especially considering the time I mean it's March uh, typically spring break uh, right around this time March Madness here's another area we'll barbecue this is a beautiful view uh, that you have every day um, as part of Florida Coastal Prep part of our program 
I said, the rooms are big, and also you have this entire beach. You have a swimming pool, you have a spa sauna, hot tub, the weight room. Uh, you have your own uh, area that you can go to, spend a little extra time. Some guys like the beach, some guys like to get extra weights, some guys like to play, you know, they really take it serious, the uh, Fortnite. And, uh, some guys like to uh, just sleep, honestly. Christian Life Center, this is the area where we practice. We do a lot of community service. Uh, we work with Upward Bound Basketball. It's uh, young kids in the community play on the school teams, but they still uh, enjoy the game, enjoy sport. We volunteer to help them. These kids range from kindergarten to sixth grade and, you know, referee and coaching teams and doing that kind of thing. But you can see they've got this area pulled out. They've been cleaning, but you can see it's, it's a gym just like many other gyms. Plenty of room. Very nice. Always clean. You'll meet the manager there, Greg. You know, anybody that knows what that line is has a good start on their defense. That's the midline. Uh, we'll teach more about that later. Overall, like I said, it's a great facility, um, and we use it pretty often. Uh, you can see this area where you can eat, have your meals. You'll see that in some of the photos. We also have the community service meetings here, meeting there. And it's just another weight room that you can get to, you have access to. You know, if you ever need to get some extra work in, this is upstairs. I saved you the elevator trip. Just a different view of the court. This is another area where we'll have uh, community service. Uh, we'll have guest speakers. We'll have life skills. On the right, on those windows, there's about 12, 14 treadmills. So it's just another area. Here's the rec center, the Fort Walton Beach Rec. Uh, it's a beautiful gym. It's where we play our games. And, um, you know, it's just another, another nice gym that we have access to. We're gonna play on some really nice courts. We're gonna play on some not so nice courts. We're gonna play on some college courts. You know, the junior colleges that we play, typically amazing facilities, because we play the Florida schools, and in case you don't know, Florida Junior College basketball is some of the best in the country. This is a just a fantastic gym. This is a better gym than Oak Hill Academy, I mean, just to be real, when we go to Oak Hill, you'll see. This is where we play our games. We'll have a few clips here that you can see of some of our games just to show you what it looks like when we have it set up for a game. So you can see that here. But, you know, just a nice gym, uh, able to get some work in there. And again, we have the games here. You can see in the back right corner, we have player interview set up. Uh, Aridita's logo and things back there. Militia Fitness, uh, it's where we spend our time in the first part of the season, uh, lifting weights. They do a great job, Strength Performance Center. It's really nice, you can see it on the web. Uh, ACTSAT Prep also included as part of the program. We partnered with Troy University to use their facility. You can look it up online. It's the same program DME uses. And here's our meal plans, and you can see the guys eating there. And those are some of the meals that the chefs are able to make. The bottom right, when we went to BW3s on a trip, and I'll talk to you soon.